Hi guys and dolls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Janae and I'm back with another another video. Um, in this video it is unedited and I am doing it on my phone. Um, I'm going to be talking about why the warfare has been so intense. If you all have seen my previous video that I did in the summer about how your warfare is great because your calling is great, this is a similar video. Some of us in this season including me, have just been going through intense warfare, but also crushing. And when I'm talking about warfare, you know, that I'm talking also related to um, the, the enemy, the adversary, right? Which we all know who that is. And then later on, I'm going to be talking about crushing, when God is actually crushing you so that he can do more through you. Um... And maybe later on I'll go through the differences in a different video of, of what the differences are between that. But um, that's for you to pray about and see if you're in a, a season where your warfare is really intense or if God is just testing you and crushing you to, to burst something greater through you. Um, but, um, yeah, so pretty much I know for me in this season, like, woo, what I tell y'all? Um, woo. The Lord has been testing me, crushing me, um, so that he can strengthen me. And that is just, whew, that is something in itself. Um, but also, for some of you that are going through warfare, and um, whether you're having demonic dreams, attacks, whatever it may be, um, I just want to tell you, it's not about you. It's about what God wants to burn through you. And it's about what you carry. So the enemy can see and he can sense. Um, he doesn't know everything, but he can sense when there's a calling on your life and when you are marked. Um, and so sometimes the enemy will throw things at you to get you to become fearful, to back down, to bow down, and to not continue forward into the area that God wants you to, to um, go into. Um, and so... Right now in my life, I've been regaining a lot of territory that the enemy has stolen. It feels good. Um, in a way, it feels it feels good um, to feel free and to be walking through freedom and breaking free from generational curses and soul ties and other stuff. But um, some of you have just been going through just negative thought patterns and demonic attacks and torment and I just break that off of you in the name of Jesus and I just bind that spirit that tormenting spirit right now in the name of Jesus um, and there's a scripture that says stand firm and see the deliverance of the Lord you will not have to bite this you will not have to fight this battle but stand firm and see the deliverance of the Lord and so um, for me um, God speaks to me through dreams um, and I remember I had this one dream. I was running away. It was this demon chasing me in a dream, and I was running away from it. And I was talking to one of my accountability partners, and she was saying, God wants you to don't run away, stand up. Because in the name of Jesus, that thing has to flee. So then I had another dream. It was chasing me again. But what did I do? I, stand, I stood firm, and I saw the deliverance of the Lord. And I called on the name of Jesus, and that thing had no other choice but to leave. So, submit to God. Sorry, guys, my nose is running a little bit. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he shall flee. Um, but first, we must submit to God. So, we must allow God access, and we must allow God to work in that area. And how, how, we, do, how we do that? Just call on him. Just call on him. So, um... Yeah, so some of you just might be going through some things right now. Some things you might not even know how to explain. I know most of my life, I didn't even have the language, the rhetoric, the words for what I was going through. I did not know I was going through spiritual warfare. I didn't know, like, oh my goodness, all the times the enemy tried to take me out. All the times the enemy tried to take me out. But let me tell you, no weapon formed against you will prosper in the name of Jesus. No weapon form will prosper. And um, I just remember so many times in my life, 
if, if it wasn't for God's hand on my life, if it wasn't for God's hand on my life when I was driving and my wheel turned and I went and hit some trees, like if it wasn't for God on my life, his hand on my life when I was in my mother's womb, it says that he, he knew me before I was even in my mother's womb when I had the umbilical cord wrapped around my neck twice and I could have suffocated. That God's hand was on me even then. And some of you are going through some things and you're wondering and you're looking around and you're saying, God, where are you in this situation? God, I, I don't feel you. I can't see you. Do you care? And I'm telling you, God cares. And he is here for you and he will never leave you and he will never forsake you. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to prophetically speak over you. That you shall live and not die. Whoever is watching this, you might have you might have come on this video depressed and hopeless and anxious and lonely and, and maybe even for some of you suicidal. I prophetically speak over you. You shall live and not die. You shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. This is not your end. What the Lord started in you, He is so faithful to complete he is so faithful so no matter what you're going through hang on hang on because the Lord is near and he cares so some of you have been going through so much intensity some of it is from God and some of it is from the enemy you need to discern which is which and how you discern and distinguish those spirits is, is getting closer with God and allowing Him for you to hear His voice clearly. Um, but and some of some people just have that gift stronger than others of discerning and distinguishing spirits. But I'm not going to teach about that today. However, I just want to say that God is going to uphold you. He's going to strengthen you with His righteous right hand. So don't give up. Don't give up when it seems some of you are so close. Some of you are just at the brink of the finish line. You are so close. And you want to give up because you're getting faint. You're getting weary. You're getting tired. Even for some of you that are seeming to be crushed by God in this season, for Him to strengthen you, some of you are tired and weary. And you're wondering if you have what it is to finish, to make it to that finish line. And I'm telling you, God's grace is sufficient for you for his power works best in your weakness his power is perfected in your weakness so some of you whew, mm, mm, some of you i already know i have a feeling if it's not now it'll be later because i don't just do a video to do a video most of the time i don't just do a video to do it the lord places it on my heart and he places it at, on my heart for such a time as this and for whatever topic that is and I know someone is going to come across this video and whether they comment or not I thank God for your healing I thank God for the deliverance hallelujah I thank God for the call on your life I thank God for that mantle that you have and the things that you're doing oftentimes when you're called to oftentimes when you're caught to a tremendous amount of boldness, the enemy will use fear to block you. That's how you know. If you've been struggling with fear so strong, it's because you're caught to be bold. Not to be fearful, not to be timid. But you're called to actually be bold. So, I'm not going to make this video long. I just want to come on and do this. Um, I'm nice and toasty, warm by my fireplace. But you shall live and not die. You shall live and not die. Someone needs to hear that because the Lord is just repeating it in my spirit. You shall live and not die. You shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. You'll have such an amazing testimony. Such an amazing. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my testimony that not many people even know. But there was one time I was really, I was in high school and I was really depressed. And I was going through some stuff I didn't even, I didn't even know what I was going through. But 
like I said, if it wasn't for the Lord's hand on my life. But in that moment, I was so hopeless. In that moment, I felt so down. I remember I was getting ready to take all my antidepressants. See, most people would not know that about me. They look at me, they see a pretty face, they see this, they see that. Most people wouldn't even figure that I've ever actually been suicidal, but I actually have been many times in my life. But I don't say that, I don't say that just to say that. I say that because it's God, it's God's strength in that, that I'm here. It's God's strength that I didn't do that. That I believed him at his word when I was sitting on my kitchen floor getting ready to do that. I believed God at his word when he said, you're so much more. And I didn't even know what he was talking about. But I said, you know what, I'm going to live to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to live to see. And here I am. And he's... I know this is just the beginning, but the fact that I can even reach out to people on a platform all over the world, so you shall live and not die. No matter what you're going through, no matter if it seems impossible, there's nothing too hard for the Lord. There is nothing too hard. You shall live and not die. You shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys and dolls.